Good afternoon, my dear children. This is Joy Bell, your computer teacher. Welcome to computer online class. How are you? Hope you are doing well. This is the first day of your computer class and I am very happy to see you all through this YouTube class. Okay? Are you girly waiting? Okay, dear children. Now let's begin our class. Chapter 1 History of Computers Early man used stones and sticks for counting, but later they invented the calculating devices for counting. Let's see some of the early calculating devices in detail in this chapter. The first early calculating device that is used is abacus. You know what is abacus? The abacus is believed to be the first calculating device. So which device is the first calculating device used by early man? Abacus. Abacus is the first calculating device. The earliest reference to abacus dates back to 2700 to 300 BCE in the Mesopotamian civilization. That means during 2700 to 300 BCE before the current era itself, this abacus was in use. Okay. Mm -hmm. Simple calculations such as addition and subtraction could be performed using the abacus. Using this abacus device, you can do simple addition and subtraction. Okay, using abacus, you can do simple addition and subtraction. The abacus is used to teach school children about place values in the numbering system and also for teaching arithmetic operations to visually impaired students. See, in schools, to teach the place values, in Max, have you learned about place values? Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, right? To teach this place values, you are using, we are using this abacus device. Okay. So, to teach the place values in the numbering system, we use abacus device. And for visually impaired students, that means the blind people. Okay. So, those who cannot see, those people, for those people, this abacus device is very useful for them to teach arithmetic operations. Okay. Learning calculations using the abacus is believed to improve concentration and memorization skills. So, using this abacus, we learn the calculations. So, this helps you to improve the concentration and memory skills. Okay? This is abacus, the first calculating device. The next calculating device is Napier spoon. In the year 1616, Sir John Napier made a calculating device called Napier's Bones. So, in which year the Napier's Bone was invented? In the year 1616. Who invented this? Sir John Napier. He is Sir John Napier. He invented the device Napier's Bone. It was used for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So, Napier's bone was used to perform the calculations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. The device was so named because it had numbers caught on bones or on strips of wood. See, in this device, the see this Napier's bones, you can see the set of rods, right? So, these rods, they are made up of bones or strip of wood, okay? So, uh, so that this device is called the Napier's bones. Since it is made up of bone or wood, it is called Napier's bones. Okay. Here you can see a set of rods and a board to fix that rods. So each rod will have this numbers. Okay. So for example, strip number 7 or board number 7, you see the 7th table, you can calculate using this rod number 7. Okay. So in this manner, you can do the addition, subtraction, multiplication and division using the Napier's boards. Okay. Pascaline. The 
Pascal was the first mechanical calculator and was invented by Blaise Pascal in the year 1641. See, this was the first mechanical calculator used in the year 1641. This was invented by Blaise Pascal. It consisted of a rectangular box with eight movable wheels. So, it consists of movable wheels in a rectangular box. It was used to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of numbers up to hundreds and thousands. So, up to hundred and thousand you can do addition, subtraction, multiplication and division in this Pascaline device. Okay. So, this, this is Pascaline device invented by Blaise Pascal. It consists of rectangular box with movable wheels in it. Okay. The next is Difference Engine. In the 19th century, Charles Babbage invented the first mechanical computer. So, the first mechanical computer was Difference Engine that is invented by whom? Charles Babbage. Okay. So, this is how the Difference Engine looks. See? This is Difference Engine. Okay. The next is Analytical Engine. Charles Babbage also invented the first general purpose computer known as the analytical engine. So, this Charles Babbage also invented this device that is analytical engine. Okay. The analytical engine had the same elements as modern computers, input, output and memory devices. So, this analytical engine consists of input devices, output devices and memory devices same as that of the modern computers. Charles Babbage is known as the father of modern computers. So, who is the father of modern computers? Charles Babbage. He invented analytical engine and difference engine. Okay. So, this is analytical engine. Now, let's recall what we have learned in today's class. So, the, we have seen about the early calculating devices, right? So, the first device is Abacus. So, this is the first calculating device used, right? So, it is used to perform addition and subtraction, okay? The next calculating device is Napier's Boom. So, this was invented by Sir John Napier in the year 1616, okay? So, it is used to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The next device is Pascaline. So, this was the first mechanical calculator and invented by Sir Blaise Pascal in the year 1641. Okay. So, it is also used to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. The next device is Difference Engine. This was invented by Charles Babbage. In the 19th century, Charles Babbage invented this device. So, this is the first mechanical computer. Okay, difference engine is the first mechanical computer. And the last one is analytical engine. This is also invented by Charles Babbage, who is the father of modern computers. Okay. Okay, my dear children, hope you understood the concept. Okay, if you have any doubts in this, please contact me and you can clarify your doubts. Okay, thank you. Take care. Have a great day.